Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Manu Ginobili's legacy is set, he alak as a future basketball hall of famer. We're talking about a four-time NBA champion, gold medalist, two-time All-NBA player, the greatest player ever to come out of Argentina, and in a conversation with Oscar Schmidt for greatest ever out of South America. Ginobili isn't concerned about any of it. Here is what he told Sirius XM NBA Radio by NBC4 News in San Antonio. I want to be remembered as a good person, a good dude, that I was here around in town, and fun to watch, and good to hang out with, but after a few years it's going to be forgotten. The legacy thing is very overrated, Manu said. We're going to be gone soon, and somebody better is going to come up, always. There's always somebody better than you. If you live your life thinking about your legacy or what you're going to leave, you don't worry then you add another concern," Ginobili said. Just live your life every single day, do the best you can, and that's more of my motto than leaving a legacy. That is a healthy way to look at the world. That said, Ginobili will be remembered longer than he thinks in San Antonio, he is as popular there as Tim Duncan or Tony Parker or David Robinson. Maybe it was his crafty style of play, his humility and willingness to come off the bench, or the fact that he spoke Spanish in a heavily Latino community. Whatever the reason, he is loved, you see more Ginobili jerseys around San Antonio than any other star. Someday, that jersey will be hanging in the rafters at the at Whether he cares about it or not. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel.